Look at those. Freaking amazing. Pit boards. Oh, they look so good. Carbon fiber. Huh? What's up guys, my name is Mark Santamaria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC vlog. Guys, I'm out here in downtown McKinney, which is my area, the city that I live in. There's a little market back here. This is the day after probably one of my most successful promoted races. Uh, not based on entries, but for what it did. Yesterday was our first ever MSM spec slash racing series race and it was freaking epic. We had 93 93 slashes 93 entries uh, and because people can't run really multiple classes it was essentially 93 slashes it was absolutely amazing i gotta give a huge shout out to all the people who helped uh chase he's actually part of the reason why i even started this he did all the tech teching was insane because we were trying to be pretty strict on the way we did the rules in regards to what contributes as a spec slash so when we got there when, we, when the race first started we wanted everyone to go to tech so they really understood if their car was legal and the line was insane and Chase was just knocking out cars through tech. He had an awesome system where he was writing everything down. He had VIN tags on the transmissions. I mean, it was absolutely insane. It was very well ran. I got to give it also a big shout out to Mr. Walter Vining. He was the announcer. Announcing a race that was really unique as in we didn't run the program exactly like most RC races go. We ran a F1 style program on one of the classes. so. He had to do a lot of toggling between two different races. It was really insane, but he did an amazing job. Also, the Indy RC World crew. Indy RC World is a track that we actually hosted it at, and they did a lot. They made sure that place was clean. They were running and gunning and helping out wherever they needed to. None of this would have been possible with any of those people helping out. I also want to give a shout out to Jose. Jose was my, one of my team drivers in San Antonio. He also kind of sparked the idea with lending me the track. He lent me a track for the MSM summer camp. And I was like, you know what? If I have this track, we could actually do races anywhere. He's gonna be the one that's gonna be supplying the track at Traxxas. So I do wanna give a shout out to him. So thanks a lot, Jose. But yes, lots of people made it happen. It was absolutely amazing. I'm kinda of tired, a little exhausted because leading up to races like that, there's just so many things going through my mind. I don't really sleep that much. I'm trying to make sure everything is good, everything's right. And yeah, it's only the first race. It's only the first race. There's four of them, but it's like a big weight off my shoulders to know we know how to run the program and know how it's supposed to run. And we learned some things, but overall, it was a huge success. As our mission for the race was to basically stimulate the RC racing community, and that we did. There were, I think there were over, I think the number was about 50% of the people that were in the race had to be entered into the system and what that means is they've never actually raced at Indy before and this is more of like a local race a local series race so that is an amazing metric man I'm so proud of everyone so happy to be part of such an amazing racing community sorry guys we saw this cookie place on our way walking <laughs> on the way walking to the little market the little market and we decided that we need to stop and get a cookie on the way back so look at this cookie it's got icing in the middle you got that? What? Oh man, it looks so good. So if you guys are wondering why Spec Slash, Spec Slash has always been kind of near and dear to me. That was the first racing class I've ever raced. And I think the rules are really, really straightforward. It's also an extremely cheap entry point for someone to get into RC racing. Uh, if, you, if you do it the way we have, so we have three different classes. If you race Spec 3 in my series, you have to run it exactly out of the box. So essentially, you just gotta buy the Slash, the battery, and a transponder and it's pretty much the cheapest you can get into racing which is right around 400 bucks so that's why spec slash i know you guys probably think it's because whoa yeah they're doing construction stuff uh, you, i know you guys probably think it's because i'm a traxxas fanboy not denying that i'm not a traxxas fanboy but it is a really cheap entry point for racing 
Here's Melissa's studio. If you guys haven't seen that video yet, I'll put a link in the eye above. It's on the other channel, but yes, Melissa is a studio owner. It's beautiful in here. Uh, all right, guys, this is going to be a, just a really quick update video. I got to update you guys on a couple of cars. I also got this package that I'm super excited about opening. I think I know what this is because, well, I'll tell you the story after I show you what it is. All right. Ooh. <laughs> My God, this thing is heavy. It's got instructions. It says, do not cut. Hold on. There's a lot of stuff in here. Got a letter. Man, there's like instructions and details in this thing. All right, this is super cool. So I met Jacoby and his his dad, John, at Wicked Weekend. And while Jacoby was at Wicked Weekend, his son races, I saw his, his car stand and it was this. It was basically this, but it was painted. But this thing is super heavy. Like if I had to guess, actually, I don't have to guess. I can tell. Never mind. I thought the weight was going to be here. But if I had to guess, this is probably a good five pounds. Like... The stand is super heavy and I always thought it was really cool because I was like, man, that's legit and it spins and everything. This is the part that I'm supposed to glue on top. Uh, but I commented on his stand and he wanted to say thank you for letting him pit with us, letting them pit with us. They pit with us at Wicked Weekend and they appreciate all the help and everything we did for them. So this was like a little appreciation gift. So he is actually making these. He's making these by hand and he gave me some instructions to put the last like rubber plate on top and then some, some feet on the bottom. But this thing is freaking awesome and it rotates and you can tell like it's it's welded on there this thing is legit but it's a car stand uh thank you so much john and jacoby they gave me a patch because i collect patches which is freaking awesome this is this looks like if i have to guess this is like a game worn patch very very cool but heck yeah this is freaking awesome thank you so much i am super grateful and humbled by these nice gifts thank you hope to see you soon Thanks a lot, John and Jacoby. All right, so a couple of updates on some cars that I did on the previous vlog. So this guy, the FMS Power Wagon. I love this car, but right after, and I'm talking like right after I got done shooting the video, I put it in my truck, I put it in the back of my truck, the back seat, and when I got home, I opened it, and the car fell out, and it, it broke. I broke the headlight off. Um, this little, just basically this little piece right here. I ended up gluing it back on with some CA glue, and then this rear cage broke um, kind of at these little joints right here, uh, both sides. I glued it back together. It looks like it's holding up just fine. I did have a friend order one of these after I did the video, and I thought they sent me spare parts because I was doing the video review, but they actually send those spare parts with every car because they noticed, and I guess their QA process, or they noticed that they can improve some of the plastic. So if you do order this car, it comes with this kit of extra parts like gears, plastics, things like that. So you can order it with confidence. But overall, love this car. I'll put a link in the description below and a link in the eye above to when I did the review on this little FMS Power Wagon. And lastly, this guy, the Limitless. I'm gonna do a live feed. I plan on doing a live feed tonight to start working on this thing. There's a reason why I stopped working on it. I don't have batteries. I had two 4S Spectrum batteries and one of them is bad. I tried uh, getting another one. I couldn't get another one quick enough. So I ended up reaching out to my friends at Genzace. They're sending me some batteries that are supposed to push this car a little bit harder than normal. So I'm pretty excited about that. This build will start up again because of the Slash Series race. I was kind of putting a lot of my focus on that. But now that the first one is out of the way and it's not for another month before the next one, I have some time to give this thing my undivided attention. So this is gonna be our focus the next week or so. Oh man, so stoked. And I did decide I am gonna rattle can this body. I'm gonna do this like kind of like a baby blue and then I'm gonna put my pink MSM stickers on it. I think that would look really, really cool. I had some comments about the electronics I'm using. Like they sent me these electronics and they're, they look awesome to me. I am not, by no means am I a speed specialist, but we're gonna at least see what these can do. In regards to the servo, I had someone commenting about this servo not being that great. You don't need a lot of, of torque for a steering servo on a speed car you're not gonna be steering that fast or hard because whenever it's moving really fast you should be fine so this should be fine and if it isn't obviously we'll upgrade but yes we're rattle canning the body just like the car intended us to well that's a wrap guys along with the limitless build i do have a couple more car reviews coming so make sure you turn on the notification bell and subscribe because we got a whole bunch of cool things coming and who knows what comes up before 
now and then. Well, I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me.